So though the moon is the dying trigger, and that it will actually go to the point where somewhere in that cycle, where it's going to click in and death is taking place, in fact, it's actually the Earth, transit Earth, that is establishing that sequence. So in Death, Dying, and Bardo, we dive into more of this, and here's the Bardo stages of the decarnated personality crystal now. Decarnation is a sequential trinary process. The sequence is determined through the geometry of the Earth at death through resonance. So it's the transit Earth at death through resonance. So when we're looking at the moment of death, what we're looking for is the position of the Earth and the importance of the line. So here's the line values. One is time, two is surrender, three is chaos, four is passage, five is reunion, and six is vision. So there's an interpretive value to the minor degree relative to the gate, because that's what lines are. What is important here is that we are opening up the Bardo sequence itself, and it is the line that is going to be the key in establishing that sequence. What you are looking at are keynotes for the lines, the death keynotes. So now the fact that the Earth is in 47.5 means that this person's Bardo is going to begin with the fifth sequence. So in other words, their sequence is going to begin with the five. Now the decarnation is a sequential trinary process. In other words, you don't go through all six of the line values. You only get three in a row. So everybody's Bardo is going to be a, a different sequence depending on what line value they died on. So here, whoops, I clicked too many times. Here you only get three in a row. Here we have the situation of the Earth in the fifth line, and the sequence, in, sequence is reunion, and then vision, and then time. Okay, reunion, vision, and time. For Ra, anyway, his sequence. So here's the reunion. 47.5, Earth, the saint. This position has special significance in that there is no planet in detriment. Here's Ra's journey through the Bardo, stage one. Venus exalts the gift in times of oppression to maintain without hypocrisy a harmonic relationship with one's oppressors while providing aid and succor to the oppressed. Realization at its most exalted. Acceptance of the weight of the abstract process and the grace that naturally follows. Here we have no polarity, because there's no polarity there. So it didn't have to be that Ra had a Venus up here. It's just no polarity. But Venus is a strong exaltation process there. So the transit cross that he left on was the left angle cross of informing. And Ra says, let's just keep in mind the mechanism of the way in which this operates. We have a time of death, and we're looking at the position of the Earth. It's the line of the Earth in resonance to those keynotes, to these lines where you have your Bardo sequence, that there are six potential steps in the sequence, and everybody gets three. So obviously, it's related to when you enter into that moment, what that position is. Yeah, so wherever it is that you entered here, it's reunion for the Earth. So the first stage was 11 hours and 28 minutes for Ra. Thank you for the calculations. It's also clear that you don't always get the same amount of time. This is something to grasp, Ra says. Your first stage may be 20 minutes, it may be an hour. But it isn't necessarily going to be 24 hours, which is also a possibility, as we know, depending on when you die. So we look at the Earth, we look at the line, Earth, oppression, gate of realization is where it was, a restrictive and adverse state as a result of internal weakness or external strength or both. When we look at the line, what we're looking at here with the saint is that we're looking to see that line, and in that line only, it doesn't relate to anything else, what are the planets that are listed as exalted and detriment. In this case, we have Venus. 
it's important to know whether they are exalted or detriment. In the 47.5, we have Venus that is exalted in that line, and we have no polarity. So here's the guardian then. The guardian was Venus. The second step, you go to the planet at the moment of death. You go to the Venus, 19, line 5. Here's the gate of approach, the gate of wanting. That all things are interrelated is apparent and manifested through the action of approach. So remember the Venus was the exaltation and there was no planet in detriment. So here's the fifth line, sacrifice. The need to limit personal potential in order to achieve a larger goal. Earth exalts the self-restraint fundamentals of such a nature energy to keep one's sensitivities restrained. So everybody, each and every one of us, when we leave this plane, the guardians that open the door for us, they pronounce on our lives. Ross says it's something, really something to think about. They actually describe what our general holistic process has been. Why was that person here? What were they here for? So here was what Ra was here for, the energy to keep one's sensitivities restrained, restrained, the need to limit personal potential in order to achieve a larger goal. You can see it was creating a harmonic channel thanks to his uh, Venus in his own design, his natal design, the 49.5. So we had a fully resonant channel with the Guardian of the transit of his death cycle. And Ra says, again, it's one of those incredible things about death knowledge that was given to me, is that it has no value to the dead, if you know what I mean. In some ways, I think it allows us to see what kind of continuity was in fact in the life. Because when the guardians open the door, they really describe you. Any of you that survived me, do take a look. It should prove to be very interesting. Here we have Bardo stage two, vision. The earth transit was going through, uh, again, still the oppression, gate of realization, six line, futility. A difficult position for which there is no exaltation. It's a bold blue line, learning line. The sun in detriment, where the strength of will alone may find a way to adapt and survive, but without hope of ever overcoming the oppression. Life as an ordeal stripped of realization. And then his final stage three through the bardo, the earth transit went into first line of the next gate. And this is first line is about time. So this is now the gate of conflict, the gate of friction, intimacy, awareness. Bold blue is the realization that wasting one's resources against overwhelming odds is not courage but folly. Pluto exalted, the power of regeneration that can embrace retreat as a phase and not a failure. The emotional stability to accept conflict. Mercury detriment, the inferiority complex where retreat is experienced as personal weakness emotional instability in times of conflict. So his bardo ended with Earth, leaving the 6.1 at 13, point, or 13, hour 13, and four minutes on March 14th. And that was in 2011.